And if you ever say, as we do sometimes, uh, I don't feel like chanting. That is like drinking poison for your spiritual life. Because if we don't chant properly, there's no hope. I was giving a lecture on, uh, um, in Houston. I don't know if you can get the recording. I don't know if it was recorded, but I was talking about the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu. And I said, I said, you want to understand the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu? It's very easy. Just stop chanting and following the four principles. Just stop chanting for a week and see where you end up. And then you'll understand the mercy of Nityananda because it's that mercy that kept you strong in Krishna consciousness. You know, so sometimes we don't really understand the mercy because our lives are kind of the same. But if that mercy drops, we just hit the ground. So if you chant good rounds every day, you have, ton you have lots and lots of mercy. And as long as you have lots of mercy, you'll be fine. You'll glide through the world with no problems. Maya will not bother you. She'll go somewhere else. She'll look at you and go, oh, no, there's... This devotee is chanting such good rounds. I have no, there's no way I can bewilder them, confuse them, attract them. I'm going next door to that devotee. They chant really bad rounds. I'll work on them. So, you know, it's like, if you chant good rounds, it's like a do not enter sign for Maya. 